Now I'd like to introduce to you our commencement speaker, Senator Raymond Lesniak. Senator Lesniak represents the 20th District, Elizabeth, Roselle, Union, Kenilworth. He was born in Elizabeth. He attended Thomas Jefferson High School in Elizabeth. He's proud to be a Rutgers University graduate where he earned his Bachelor of Arts degree. He then earned a law degree from St. John's University and he was first elected to the New Jersey Assembly in 1977. He won a special election for an unexpired Senate term in 1983 and he has served continuously in the New Jersey Senate since that time. It's my honor to introduce to you a great friend of the college and a great friend of the people of Union County, Senator Raymond Lesniak. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank Dr. McManaman and the board chairman, Mitchell, for asking me to deliver today's commencement address. I understand I was not their first choice. <laughs> Snooky was booked. <laughs> Charlie Sheen wanted too much money. But that's okay. I don't mind being third choice. It's a great honor for me to share some of my thoughts with today's graduates of Union County College. I don't have any inspirational message to say to you today. But there are others who do. Others who have inspired and comforted me during various times in my life. The most recent inspirational message came to me two months ago when I was lying in a hospital bed after having double total knee replacements and losing half my blood during the operation. I was in pain. I lacked energy. I had no stamina and I was feeling sorry for myself. The message that came to me at that moment came from Eric Legrand, the Rutgers football player who was totally paralyzed from the neck down. Those of you who have seen him after his injury have seen what I saw. A paralyzed young man with a huge smile on his face and a gleam in his eyes. Suddenly my pain and my lack of energy and stamina no longer troubled me because I was inspired by this courageous young man. Two years ago I was inspired in a totally different way. I was sleeping in my bedroom at 530 Irvington Avenue in Elizabeth when at two o'clock in the morning I heard two men walk in. The first words I heard from one of them was shoot him. The other guy quickly said, stay cool. We're not going to hurt you. We're good people. We're just, I know, I know, I know, but work with me on this one. I was inspired. I wasn't inspired at that moment, but I'll get to the inspirational part. We're good people. We're just in a bad place right now. Sure enough, they didn't hurt me. They took my cash and warned me not to get out of bed. Believe me, I stayed in bed for a while before getting up <laughs> and contacting the police. So, you, I'm sure you're asking, what was so inspirational about this experience? Well, the, first of all, the Elizabeth police caught the guys in a few days. And predictably, they had multiple prior arrests and time in prison. I was, however, inspired by the words of Brian Kinney, who said, we're good people, we're just in a bad place right now. I testified on their behalf to get them into a drug treatment facility where they could have a chance to recover from their addictions and lead a productive life. I didn't do that for them. I did it for me and my neighbors. Because if they were just sent back to prison, it's almost a sure bet they would commit the same crime or worse when they got out. The more often we offer treatment for nonviolent drug addicts rather than sending them to jail, the more money we will save, 
and the more safe will be our neighborhoods. Thank you. The last inspirational message I wanted to share with you came from Governor Jim McGreevy. When he was being extorted by Golan Sapel, who threatened to out him as being gay. Governor McGreevy said to me, Ray, I think I'm gay. And I said, you think you're gay? <laughs> Governor McGreevy looked at me and said, I am gay. And I'm going to tell my wife, my parents, my sisters, and the people of the state of New Jersey. From that moment on, Jim McGreevy was free to follow the advice of Polonius in Shakespeare's Hamlet. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night to day, thou canst not then be false to any man. Jim McGreevy is now in a good place, being true to himself. He's helping prisoners find their way in life as he was able to find his. A young paralyzed football player, a drug addict in a bad place, a governor hiding his true self from the world and from his own self. Moments of inspiration can come from any source at any time if you're open to seeing them. As you venture from today to the next beginning of the rest of your life, I can inspire you. I can only suggest that you be open to being inspired. Try it, you'll like it. Thank you very much.